Hello everyone, BG here, and welcome back to Darksiders 2. So we are trying to find a Forge Master. Who undoubtedly is off this way. See, so and then eventually the path to the Tree of Life, which is over there. That will do. Why are you giving me this now? Just because. Serpent Dome. Oh yeah. Yep, so that is the direction we're going. Pretty much the only way we could go. Can I call this square? No, I cannot call my horse. Try stone. That must be Alia. Hello, suddenly person. I'll get back to you in a bit. What is this? <laughs> That's not the B button. Oh yeah, I do remember what that what that is now. It's how they did DLC stuff, I think. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the forge lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's forge? Nay, the Maker's forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption, but in its depths we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets? <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. Akane is seeking the tree and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power. The heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers. Not warriors, but we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key, and we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horsemen? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. All right then. Speak to Thane. I'm guessing he was the guy back here. There's someone over there as well. Hello, people. Reaper, 
It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? <sighs> you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Well, if you fancy your corruption waste deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since not loose in battle? Well, wisdom ain't like teeth. I have plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs> yeah, so I can get new moves this way. Harvester Revenge. Hmm. I'll take that. I don't have enough to get anything else, but that'll do. So that goes like... Maybe I have to actually be in combat. Cheers, mate. May the makers forge like you. There, grow. <gasps> Let's see. <gasps> that looks like it's just the way around. Drop down. I want to see what secret things are over here. Uh, Boatman coins. Uh, Volgrim. That name sounds familiar. Alright, back up the way. Let's head across. This is some good framing here. Through the path to the tree blocked by a giant eyeball thing. Lovely. I suppose that is the corruption. Oh, good. Hello, despair. That way looks like it's locked off. Though so that's where Crow is. Have you for a reason, Crow? Hmm, guess not. Oh. There is one of these, though. It's truth. So, can't go that way. Maybe it was just leading me to the pickup. Hopefully that thing doesn't shoot lasers or something. Hmm. 
Wait, that's not right. Well, there might be something of value up here. Or there might just be another boatman coin. Oh no, Book of the Dead page. Oh, hello. Dodging doesn't work if you dodge into the thing trying to kill you. Someone's very stompy. Can I attack? I can attack on the horse. Good. That might be a bit easier. Weeping Crag. <laughs> Hello, Vargrim. Over here. Greetings, horsemen, and welcome. I've been expecting you, Vargrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am, to offer my wares. What do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. I carry things others would frown upon. Go on, take a look. You won't be disappointed. I have new items, if you have the coin. Oh. All right, well, that's what he's for. Could get rid of some of this stuff that I'm not actually using. Another time, demon. Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. I found one already. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so will be my damnation. I guess that was all the point was to coming up here. We need to go this way. Hooray, things to kill. Not as easy to fight on the horse. Is this something? There's a box in it.
There's something up there. It looks kind of important and it seems to be making a ringing sound. Maybe it's something for later. I don't seem to be able to get to it right now. This is no place for a horse. It's the perfect place for a horse. Good. More boxes. Moving on. Another box up there. Don't seem to be able to get to it. Yeah, from here. There we go. Uh, things just reassemble themselves. Away from these things. Very stompy. Ow. Quite the reach you got there. Another one of those things. Oops, that was stupid. I wonder what they are for. I do not remember. I think later on you get a double jump or a jump and glide or something, and that's how you get them. Maybe. Riding Simulator 2015. And we've reached the Charred Pass. And this place looks lovely. Avoid the lava. Ooh, 
Okay, that was close. Goodbye, despair. There we go, some action. A rider has come to the realm. Mm, not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. I like this guy. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. No different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. Ha! <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pop or Lad, but I prefer my own name. Carl. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Say, if you're headed in there, do you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish? You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. Well, let's got that open then. I think we'll end it here for the day then. In the next episode, we'll head in. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'll see you all next time with more Darksiders 2. Ciao.